Hello everyone, how are you? I have been enjoying, I must say, since I've committed to doing all these different shop with me's at different stores, I have been having so much fun going to the different stores, sharing them with you, but also finding goodies for myself and for gifts. And anyways, I have a wonderful haul to share with you and I look forward to going through it. All right, so I don't really have a specific order here for you. I'm gonna just pull things out and I'm gonna go through them with you and I hope you guys enjoy seeing what I found. I have a lot of goodies. So let's get started here. My bags are empty. I'm gonna go through here. Um, first, I guess I'll just show you some of the signs I bought. And this is one of them here. There's also a Santa print. And it is not, you will not feel any cuts on here. It is a smooth surface, but you can definitely transform one of these using a gift bag. So if you don't like something like this and you cut the gift bag into three pieces, you can follow this exact line here and make a really cute, um, your own piece that would hang in the house. Another thing is like, go for it and paint it. Paint it like a whitewashed color and do your own writing on it. It was super cute too. The only thing is you might have to pop this little snowflake off because it is 3D or you can go for the back and then you have multi-use. You can flip it back and forth. So I purchased that one. I purchased this wood one. Well, I don't know if it's wood. I think it's wood chip because the front feels like wood, but then the back tells me it's not. So I purchased the snowflake and I purchased the Christmas tree and they're super cute. I will do some testing on it and see if it works for what I wanted it to do. I bought another eight by 10 frame. This one I was hoping to actually transform into something similar I did on the channel where I did a reverse canvas, removed the canvas, wrote a word here, painted the wood. Turned out really, really nice. If you wanna see that, I'll link it up above and you guys can take a look at that DIY. But these are so versatile and I actually have my sign in my craft room and it says joy, so it's not even Christmassy at all for me in the sense that I can use it all year round because it is in my craft room and my craft room brings me joy as long as it's not messy and right now it is a disaster. The elf on the shelf, had to buy this I just I couldn't pass it up it's so darn cute it goes with um, I still do do the elf on the shelf in our house um, or I shouldn't say that I do but the elf on the shelf still appears at our house and I just thought it would be fun if the, if the kids wanted to read uh, leave a little note or if the elf wanted to leave a little note maybe um, they can do that I did purchase some more of these wood letters I just you know what, they sell them at Dollarama in a bigger box, I think, but I believe they're three or four dollars. So I know Michaels is not gonna sell them for this price and it has 26, so you get one letter from each of the alphabet. I just thought, how cute would these be on the outside of a Christmas gift if you have the craft paper and you attach a pretty little letter for their name? The problem is some of the letters might be too common if your family members are the same letter <laughs> across the board. Uh, luckily, I don't have that problem, but if you do, you end up running into a little bit of a problem if you only have one letter of each in there. I got some of these little eyeshadow applicators uh, brushes so there's 20 in here now they do have the elf brand this one is sassy and chic I wasn't being specific and the reason is these are for crafting so if I'm going to be smudging inks or anything like that I was planning on using these and seeing if they work just as well as some of my Tim Holtz uh, little sponges oh I bought one more of these little placemats I did buy one I think on my second shop when I found them and I was super excited, I did some beautiful throw pillows for Christmas. Uh, I did a DIY using freezer paper. I did a beautiful deer, gold deer uh, decal on it. No machine needed. I do have a Cricut. However, I wanted to share with you how to do it without the machine. Um, those pillows are still in fantastic condition. They actually sat outside on my patio through the Christmas season just to give it a little bit of life out there fantastic they've washed my hot glue I only did a little opening you can stitch it back but I did a tiny little opening uh, hot glue has washed on a cold cycle for 15 minutes in my washing machine Mod Podge hasn't budged anyways I've been super happy and I wanted to make red ones because my other ones are green I purchased this and don't ask I don't know why I thought it was cute and if I did a little I mean this is definitely oh my gosh how 
stinking cute is this for real? Okay, you can use these like even as little headpiece to cover your ears in, in um, for the, the season. Oh my goodness, they are too cute. Aside from being so cute, I did think when I saw them that I would wrap them around the outside of a little basket or a little bin and then fill them up. I was hoping to do this for my son. Um, just he's past the stage of toys I find. He turned 11 and he's just growing up on me in the sense that toys are not his thing. So I was thinking if I did like a cute little Christmas bin, wrap this on the outside just to make it a little more Christmassy, then you can pull it off and then the bin can be used for storage in his room. Um, and putting like little knickknacks like lip balm and candy and maybe a chocolate and stuff like that for him. So anyways, it'd be more like a little gift basket idea with a little thing. And you have multi-purpose. I highly doubt he would ever wear these, but mom will take them, no problem. Back to the sassy and chic. I was in the makeup aisle and this caught my eye. I have been very, very happy with the Mariposa liquid lipsticks. Bear's back snuggling. I have a bag on the floor. He's back snuggling in a spot. I I disturbed him. I didn't disturb him actually. I came here and I was bringing my bags and he found a perfect little warm spot in the sunshine. And so I felt so bad because he had been sitting there for about two minutes and I had to move this chair back. And I'm like, oh sweetie, like I have to move. And so he got up, but now he just curled himself back up on the little on the little um on my shopping bag. Anyway, so I've been I've been so happy with their liquid lipsticks. And this one here is under the nude um and I, I'm gonna swatch it for you guys, but it's under the nude line and I just the bottle is so Like it's so unique and cute if it's oh that's sticky for if it's in your um in your purse really well or in your and The swatch is like that. I'm a very I like nude colors as you can see sometimes when I do bring colors on screen I, I tend to stay very neutral. This is a very nice swatch for me. Now, I do have quite a few Mariposa lip glosses and lipsticks and the one that stays, and I've been so happy with them. I'm always happy to buy one of their um, lipsticks or liquid lipsticks, I should say, compared to some of the things I bought at Sephora. By the way, I did do a little shopping online through Sephora with their VIP vip or vib or i don't know the rouge membership i got 20 percent off on the on my shopping haul and i was wondering if you guys like those types of hauls as well i'm really really happy to share with you what i bought from sephora so if you guys do like that kind of stuff let me know down below i'm not a huge makeup girl but i still buy it i i still do i just wish i knew how to apply it okay back to dollar tree ornaments 16 pieces i purchased this I just love the colors. We have a little bit of blues going on in the great room and I thought I would do like a little DIY with this. I wanted to let you guys know I did go shopping at Walmart recently and I think what I'm going to do is put together a little video for you guys where I price compare with Dollar Tree and Walmart and actually item compare as well. So I'll say okay I've been at Dollar Tree this is what I saw. I've been at Walmart and this is what I saw they're identical these are the price differences let me know if that's something that interests you I do really really want to put that up on the channel because I think it'll benefit a lot of you especially as savvy shoppers not a lot of time to do your own price matching well not necessarily price matching because it's kind of like just being aware of prices price matching you can use the flip app to do that right um, at least here in Canada but um, for actually like being aware of price differences something that doesn't pull up on the flip app then i'm really happy to share with you what i found at dollar tree what i found at walmart and the price differences uh, let me tell you that you can save a lot of money by buying things at dollar tree so continuing on <laughs> as i ramble today okay crayola art edge just saying so i bought i think the zombie one uh, months ago and then when i saw this one i just thought how gorgeous are some of these pages um, for coloring, for po like positive reinforcement and all that stuff. But also I have an idea to do transfers from the coloring book to something from Dollar Tree. So I look forward to sharing that with you. With You do not need to use the Crayola coloring book. You can use any coloring book, but I will show you what I have in mind. So there was this one here. I purchased this one 
color. Again, Crayola. You're going to find these for at least $4 at Walmart. I'm going to take a peek actually at Walmart for the price matching on this. And these pages are just absolutely fantastic. If you are a coloring person, you know that sometimes paper matters, right? You need to have the right paper. If you don't have the right paper and almost the right pencils or markers, it's not fun. It's not relaxing. It becomes, I don't know, just not the what you intended that session for. So these are all Shopkins. I did buy the little PJ Masks. Is it PJ Masks? Yes, PJ Masks. Again, it comes with a little sheet of, oh, it has not a little sheet. It has a giant sheet of stickers, lots of beautiful coloring pages. These are wonderful as little packages. Even if you want to donate something to a a tree program. I participate in Angel Tree. I participate in a couple other um, programs in the area. So I often buy a lot of things as well for donations and you'll see that I'll put together, pa oh no, I've never shared with you guys. I probably should share with you how I put together packages. No, I have. I've put one at least video on the channel last year um, where I put together donation packages and shared with you how I put them together. I'll link that card up above. I do have some um, new things this year that I have to do. I just haven't filmed it because I haven't worked on it, but maybe I'll film it if I have some extra time to do that. Okay, I purchased these sweet little lights. I don't know if they, oh, do they come with, they come with, um, oh, that's fantastic. They even come with batteries. This is another huge saving. So I know there's only two, four, six lights on here. This is just one of my favorite finds for price matching as well. I saw these at Michael's for $7. I saw them at Dollarama for $4. And these were at Dollar Tree, of course, for $1.25 here. You can wear them with your ugly Christmas sweater. And it already has a little... Um, you just pull this little guy out and it lights up. I know you're not going to see it here. Oh, maybe you do. They're flashing. Can you see that? So, I wonder if there's different options. There are. Look at this. And there's just steady. So there's steady, there's a slow blink, and there's a really fast blink. I am absolutely, I think this is fantastic. Anyways, if you have a business and you wanna put it around the cash register, I think it looks super cute there. If you have, um, I have a giant Santa Claus, an animatronic Santa Claus down in the basement. And I actually was gonna hang this around his neck because I think it'll, it's just fun for the kids. And I'm sure the kids are gonna be like, oh, there's little lights on his neck uh, and go and play with him. A couple years ago, actually, they were feeding Santa Claus, well, maybe three years ago, they were feeding Santa Claus pretzels. And he's hollow, of course, so his mouth would open as he's singing. The kids are shoving pretzels in him and the pretzels are like just like falling into his body and then they were coming out the back. The kids were having a blast doing that. This year, I think the AC adapter is staying off. Santa's not singing. I don't want pretzels everywhere, but they're a little older. Okay, going on about Santa. Mini coloring pages. I also purchased this one to go with that one. And I know that they're there for, the, the frozen ones are out there and the frozen uh, coloring books are out there as well. I just think Shopkins is cute and I have a lot of Shopkins things that I found in the summertime or in the spring actually. So I thought if I have to put something together, at least I have one full theme. This is fantastic because it comes with two, four, has six markers and then it says it has 80 mini coloring pages. So, and they're washable markers. So there's that, which I think is a fantastic value. Oh, and it's like a dual. So when you open it, I don't want to break it open, but when you open it, it opens up like a little booklet. This is also a really nice find. I purchased six of these, yeah, six of these Lindor chocolates. Is it Lindor, Lind, Lindor? I don't know, I call them Lindor, but they're probably not Lindor, it's called Lind. Um, it's milk chocolate, and it looks, it says double milk. So I know some, it has like that inside. Some of them are red and this full dark, like a full milk chocolate. So I just really like the packaging on here because it's the, I got the little Santa theme and it's got the little snowflakes in this in the and the little reindeer and stuff. But I thought it would be nice if you put a card and if you're putting a gift card, especially for our teachers, I like to give them gift cards. So I'll put an envelope, get the kids to write a Christmas card, and then I'll just attach usually like a little something on the outside. Um, just as a little thank you as well on it. So that's what I intended those for. And then I bought some, 
oh my goodness i went crazy at this store marvel comic stickers i bought this for my um cousin's little boy he is absolutely obsessed with avengers like anything with superheroes and i thought hey like maybe if he's got like a, a reward chart or something like that then his mummy can do something for him um, with these stickers but i thought he'd appreciate that so that's going in his little goodie bag and oh i got these ones as well these are the art canvases there are two in a pack and they're four by fours again having the same idea of doing something with these as well and that's the wood again i had bought and i'm so glad i haven't eaten them yet simply social baked with real ingredients um these are the Wortman or Wortman. I don't know how to pronounce it. I like cookies like this usually with my tea or coffee. All right, skin is so dry right now. I think because our weather is changing that it's making me a chin. I really have to make sure I'm creaming. I got some of these little icy squares. Not too long ago, I purchased the Andes mint chocolates and they are found at the Dollar Tree, but I found them at Dollarama as well. I know it's local to us, I think, in Canada, not to um, Americans. However, they're only a dollar at Dollarama, so I thought I'm going to start purchasing them at Dollarama because if I save, um, these ones I believe are a dollar at Dollarama as well, so if I save a dollar, then, I mean, 50 cents, it's still 50 cents. So there's, uh, these ones here are the icy squares. I don't even know what I've showed you guys or what I have. Let me move stuff on this side. So I have a on order one going this way one going that way elf on the shelf to go with the little notebook were these um cute little pencil sets so there's two pencils two erasers and i believe oh that's it i thought there was a sharpener in there but that's still cute and it's elf on the shelf now it does say it's imported by greenbrier so they must have got some sort of copyright with them i'm not sure but it definitely says elf on the shelf so chair cover i purchased one of these, I have a DIY in mind to make with this, so I just thought it was fun, and it's red, and that's exactly the color I needed because I was looking for a red pillowcase or a red placemat that was solid red, and that's the exact color I was hoping for. Oh, I also found this, which I thought was really cool, a gemstone excavation. So these I've seen go for $10, not this exact one, but something quite similar, for $10 at Toys R Us. I mean, the kids are gonna break it, scrap, like scrape it all apart, break it, and then it's gone. So I'm not gonna pay $10 for something like this at Toys R Us. But yeah, there's a little gem in here, so I thought somebody will appreciate that. Oh, I was terrible. I don't know if you guys saw, but I bought, they had a little basket left from Halloween, the Russell Stovers. So I bought six of these for a dollar, which is really great, 15 cents, I guess, a piece, right? And dark chocolate creamy coconut is what I got. And then creamy coconut. I got caramel and marshmallow. And I was terrible and had two of them in the car on the way home. So they're long gone. But I did get six of them. And I also got this here as part of that little package. I think I'm going to do that. So there's the double bubble, which is giant. I got some happy birthday candles. I just, I always love having candles on hand because you just... Whenever there's a birthday, I somehow don't know where my candles are or anyways, they're going in one spot and that's where they are. And they're going to, these are teal and they're metallic. I just thought they're generic and they're fun. I got this little, um, authentic, they're mini double, uh, sorry, mini dominoes. I just thought they're so cute and the kids love playing like, well, my daughter loves playing board games and stuff. And especially when their babysitter comes over, they love to play games. But look at these teeny tiny little guys. Anyways, so it comes in this little portable case. I thought this is a nice little stocking stuff or a little side gift as well to be wrapped. And it comes in a nice little box so it's easy to wrap up. So there's that. I got a little waiter screw, corkscrew. Does this open beer bottles? I'm, I don't know. I'm not good with this kind of stuff. If anyone knows if this opens beer bottles, please let me know before I open it and then it's useless. I really needed to open uh, the caps off the top of a beer bottle. I got a base coat top coat. My daughter has been into painting her nails lately and she's using like these little tiny, the little kids nail polishes, not so much mine. And I'm finding that she's rubbing them off really super easily or they're just not drying in time. So I thought if she uses this little top 
coat, then maybe it will speed up the process of the dry time for her. I got, I thought I got three. I did. I was like, I did buy three, didn't I? Because I have intention for three people. Um, I got these Skittle packages, 48 grams at the Dollar Tree. Super excited because these go for $2 each at Walmart. And they're on at Dollarama for $1.15. Little Nivea, I have to put this in the car because I'm so dear. Oh, and look, it matches my nails. Um, it goes in the in the car. Actually, no, I purchased that to do a little. The plastic, the tape on here is terrible placement. I should have paid attention. Look at this; it's so lopsided. Um, anyways, I was gonna do like a little nail care set, I think. So, I'll show you guys. I'll share with you how I put that together. But there's these little finger spreaders or toe spreaders, the little uh, Nivea Care, a little set that comes with a file, nail clippers, these usually don't work the best, but it has little scissors and also a little tweezer, manicure set, and it comes in a little package. I thought it was really cute. Got this little puppy house. These are supposed to be surprise kits and I also bought this for part of a little Christmas gift. My daughter loves puppies and dogs and all sorts of animals. She's all into that so I thought that would be fun for her. Bought some more shaving foam. If you guys saw on my channel I flocked the mini Christmas tree and I wanted to flock this one in behind me the pencil tree that is my next mission however I needed a lot more foam if I wanted to do that all in one shot. I really didn't want to do half the tree and then come back and do the other half so I bought some more shaving foam hopefully now I can do the whole tree. I was so happy to find these texting gloves. They have only three fingers that are set up to to touch your phone, they're for electronics. Um, and I paid $8 for my son's not too long ago at Sport Check. This is a fantastic price. So if you get your hands on one of those, and they work, super cool. I got some more Maltesers, uh, the little ones, they're little, they wrap, they're wrapped up little, and there's only 10 in here, and I find the packaging is a little bit not obnoxious, it's in cardboard and all sorts of stuff, but I love having little treats out at Christmas on candy dishes, so that will be part of my little mix with the Lindor and everything else. Oh, I found some butter toffee peanuts, trophy. These do go for on sale for around the dollar or dollar 25, sometimes at Giant Tiger, around this time of year, Christmas time. However, I was already there and I thought, rather than waiting for it to go on sale them, because if I buy one for one, the other one sometimes wants the same. I'm saving this for Christmas time. That's another double double bubble. I hadn't seen these before at any other Dollar Tree. I got some of this Clinical Solutions. This is made by Head & Shoulders. Um, it's dandruff shampoo, but this time of year our scalps get quite dry. Well, my husband's a little bit drier. He has finer hair than I do. I thought he could give that a try in the shower if he's finding his head is a little bit drier than normal. Oh, I bought two of the little, uh, oh, these are men's, it says, and the other one says women's. I don't think it makes a difference, but these are a navy blue with like light blue tips. The other ones were a gray. Oh, I went coloring book. Oh, you know what? I was so good. I didn't eat all six. I ate only one. I thought I had, I thought I had two. Oh, and I also bought this cute little, I know they had way better quality ones months ago. Of course, now that I need one, I can't find it. And it had like cute little sayings on it. This one says sweet dreams and I thought that would go really cute with the little pedicure set I was hoping to do. My receipt, oh my gosh. $67. Uh, Crayola Art Edge, so I bought two of those coloring books because I have beautiful uh, pencils as well and then I can do together, put together a little package and then I bought this one. So I had the zombie, now I have the graffiti. Graffiti, yeah. So these are like just beautiful coloring books. And I also bought two, one of each here. So there's the frozen one and then there's the superhero girls. Oh, and you know who's on there? My daughter's always talking about her. I don't know her name. Something Quinn? No, I don't know. And I got some rice snaps for my son because he loves them. And I got my daughter this keychain. It's so cute. It has like a goldish rose gold. And it's got like a cute little, oh, it's just darling. She loves hanging things off the back of her backpack. So I had to, I had to. There's no other explanation. Just had to. Got these little mini 
tortilla bowls. There are 12 soft shells in here. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Shining. So they're little bowls and you can just fill them up with all your goodies, your ingredients, and you have a nice little, you have like a cute little to-go to go meal. So she, my daughter loves num nums or whatever she used to, but you know what got me? It's not even that they're num nums or whatever they're called. It's their scented stickers. Who remembers having scented stickers and a little sticker book and going through your stickers and sniffing them? Oh my gosh, brings back memories. So I was so darn happy when I saw that these were scented. I was like, I have to have them. I didn't even care what the heck they were, but scented stickers, go num nums. So that wraps up my entire haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell for notifications because I have a few more shop with me still coming up on the channel and some great hauls. And until the next time, everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Have a good one. Bye for now. <laughs>